What's going on everybody? This is Keating with Anatom Geo Mobile Solutions and today we are talking about control point file formatting for post processing in Lixel Studio. So whether you use the K1 or the uh, L2 Pro, if you captured control points with the units, we will need to do this, this little tweak to the file to get it to import and process correctly. So first we're gonna head on over to the project processing and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we don't do this tweak. So we go over to project processing. For the project file, we're going to uh, select the overall scan folder, which you will find uh, notated by a timestamp. So I'll go ahead and select that. Under coordinate transformation, all we want um, for this video, we took control points just with the unit, so absolute control points. We did not use RTK or any GNSS uh, functions. So we are gonna just select the GCP checkbox at the top. This big plus sign is where we're going to add our control point uh, file. And we will find that file in the project data folder of the scan folder. Um, so let's go into that. Now, if we just use the GCP file that was generated from the device, this file is uh, notated by control underscore points, we'll notice that uh, Lixel Studio does not want to accept that file. And this is because it's not in the correct format. So there is a small little tweak that we need to do to the file to get it to work correctly. So let's hop on over to Excel. We'll open up that folder, or that file, excuse me, and uh, I'll show you how that's done. Okay, so now that we have the control points file open in Excel, we're gonna notice that it's a lot of data on the control points all jumbled up into one column. Now what we're gonna need to do is separate this data by column and only include the data that's necessary for uh, post-processing. So the best way we found at Anatom to do this is to uh, use the delimited function and to delimit it by space. So real quick, before we even get into that, we'll notice that there's a space between version and the pound sign and then pound sign and timestamp. These are uh, at the very beginning in rows one and two. We're just going to take those spaces out real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight column A. Uh, once we highlight column A, we're going to navigate on over to the data tab at the top and then select text to columns, which is over on the right-hand side of the ribbon. Once we select text to columns, we're gonna see the option for delimited or fixed width. We're gonna select delimited and next. And then we're gonna change the tab button to space and we're gonna hit next again and then finish. Um, the column data format, you can keep that as general uh, and then we're just gonna hit finish. And what we'll notice here now is that everything is separated nice and uniform in each column. So the, column, the columns that we want to keep are going to be the ID, the X, the Y, and the Z. What you may notice in the user manual is that it asks for the control points to be formatted in the name in which they were recorded. But what you'll also notice in the app is that when you record a control point, it's recorded as zero underscore one, zero underscore two, so on and so forth. Lixel Studio does actually, actually does not want this. Uh, it, they, it, it accepts whole numbers and whole numbers only. So because of this, we're gonna wanna keep the ID column and not the label column. So we'll go ahead and start cleaning this up. Um, so column A can go, uh, we're going to keep ID, uh, type can go, column label can go. Uh, we're going to keep XYZ and then column QW, QX, QY, and QZ can all go. So I'm going to delete that now. So as of now, what we should be looking at is row one and two have some information and then our control point data starts at row three uh, and goes down so on and so forth we're going to actually remove row one and two so that the only data we have in this file 
is the control point name and the XYZ data. So I'll go ahead and delete those. Perfect. So now our control point name should be starting in column A. Our X should be in column B. Our Y should be in column C. And our Z should be in column D. Now that we have this data uh, formatted the way we want to, we want to go ahead and save as. Um, you can name this anything you want. It just cannot be named control underscore points. So I'm going to name this, uh, for the purpose of the demo, uh, GCPs for processing. For processing. And uh, we also want to uh, make sure that we are saving this back into the project data folder of our scan data uh, so that we can easily add that in for post-processing. OK, so now that we have correctly formatted our control points, we can now go ahead and proceed with processing the scan data. So we'll go to project processing and select our scan folder. And then in GCPs, we're going to add the formatted control point folder. So my folder is, or my, I'm sorry, control point file. My file is ground control points for processing. So I'm going to add that. And then I want to do it the GCP edit. So when we select this button, it's going to pull up the control points. And what we want to do here is just make sure that the uh, system, Lixel Studio, is putting the control points in the right spot. So we're going to go ahead and um, see our control points on the screen. We're going to hit check. And it's going to let us know if the coordinates are correct or if they're incorrect. Um, here, it's telling us that we are correct. So we are going to continue with processing. So being that we used uh, the K1 on for this particular demo uh, data, we're going to do internal camera for the coloring. If we want to do an output for panoramic image, um, we can go ahead and select that option. And if under advanced settings, if we did a start to end loop closure, um, we'll go ahead and select that as well. Now. For start to end loop closure, it doesn't necessarily have to be on the exact point, but it does need to, uh, the start and stop needs to be within one square meter. Um, so if you did not do that, it's not a problem. Your data will, will process fine. Uh, we just won't select that option. So once we have everything selected, we can go ahead and hit start, and we'll see that the project starts to process uh, without, a, without a hitch. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found value in learning how to format your control points correctly, give us a like, give us a share, tell your friends, um, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.